Can you give an example of how uh, your uh, past life interfered with, with the new life and how it wasn't no, uh, any longer compatible? There's great moments, like, you know, we went on tour to Japan, and the day you get back, I had to go and fix the mass kitchen sink in a little town in Manchester, and that's the sort of juxtaposition, that strange sort of uh, disconnection with your personal life, that can happen, that happened to me a lot with the first album, until I decided to, you know, go and stay in Japan. And, if, and, if, and feeling that it's, feeling that, that going around and touring is a, is a, is like a holiday or like something that you've been given a chance to do and you have to reference it with everything else whereas the reality of it is that is your life and that is what we do and we the realization that we have been doing it for eight years and we gave ourselves to the band a very long time ago and we've done the same thing i was thinking about it the other day we've essentially done this what we do now for eight years, even yeah. when we had no money, and even when no one would listen to us, we'd go and do concerts, and we'd go and write songs or every day. So it's sort of, our day-to-day -day life hasn't changed, it's just got a little bit, it's just got, well, a lot better, and it's, uh, but for a while you forget that, you forget that that's what you've been doing this whole time, so. Well, I'm, I might be going out on a limb here, but is that what you mean by exile, or yeah. that separation from, from home? It is, I think. I think that is a big part of why the album's called that and how we felt on uh, while we were away and things like that. But also, there's, it's not necessarily a negative title because it, it appears like that in the beginning, I think. But Exile is freedom, it's, it's joy, it's decadence, it's, it's, a, it's a great emotion to, to be free. And, and at the same time, it's scary and it's isolating and it's and it's lonely and, and things like that. So it's, it, it felt like a great title for an album and a great, we had that before we wrote any of the songs. So a great place to start. And um, <coughs> moving on, uh, do you work that way uh, when making an album? You have this idea in mind and then you work towards that goal or is it, the, where does the, the music making uh, start? Or, I mean, it did on this album, for sure, yeah, because that was such a great title to work towards, and every song in some way relates to it and connects to it, and it gave us great purpose when we started making the album, for sure. Mm, I think, for us, it, when we did this one, it was, it, it was a case of we, we knew we couldn't replicate the first album. It was, it was impossible for us, so we knew that wasn't even a task that we could approach, so we had to leave that and go, right, what... How, how does the band move forward? What do we do? And you have to write lots of songs. So we had to just, loads of songs came out at the beginning and then you get four or five that sound similar, like they might be off the same album and you've got to follow that lead. And it could have gone one of a few very different ways in the beginning of the album, but we slowly got these songs together that felt like they were part of the same album. And then you go, okay, Let's continue down that, that path here. Yeah. So it sort of comes around like that. Okay. What well, were one of those uh, ways that it might have gone into? The, what were the other ones? Well, it could have, I think, uh, we were writing lots of heavier songs, like darker ones in the beginning, and, and that weren't pop songs necessarily, that were very sort of obtuse. Like, so songs like The Road was part of that, and, and there were songs that were, were less, were even more sort of intense. but. And, and songs that were much more guitar heavy than a lot of the album, I think, mm. in the beginning. And I think we sort of drifted slowly towards, we wrote songs like Help, we wrote songs like Blind, M a Miracle, and that sort of helped steer us towards what became the album. Well, you mentioned The Road. Um, I read somewhere that you read it maybe three mm -hmm. times uh, while recording. Um, it's, it's about an apocalyptic, apocalyptic landscape. How, how does that influence? What, um, what gravitates you guys towards um, this sadness or this bleakness, maybe? Well, music's visual for us, really <coughs> visual. And on the same night Theo read the book, I watched the film. And the next day we started piecing music together. And, you know, that's what most of our songs are like. They sort of, we imagine them in a, in a, a we're soundtracking a, fic a film that hasn't been written yet most of the time in almost every song that we write. It's a great way for us to 
create an environment for a song, create a, you know. And I think that comes across in our songs. I think there's a drama to it and the listeners have to use their imagination. And I think that's, you know, testament to the fact that, you know, we write songs with, you know, that visual sort of idea in mind. Mm. And the dark, I guess the dark side of it comes from, it's weird, it's weird for us because we, you, when you sit and write songs, they just come out. You don't really have a choice as to what, what sort of songs come out. It just so happens that we find comfort and find it easier to write songs like that, that have a melancholy to them. And, and it's partly because they're the songs we love and, and <coughs> bands like The Cure, Depeche, The Smiths, like all these bands that we love so much have that in them. And I think that it comes from that. But uh, And it's also more exciting to write songs like that, I feel. Like. I think it, <coughs> there's much more to them. And you can write songs that last longer and have and yeah, it could be timeless, I think, when, when songs are melancholy. I think. It's a way to, <clears throat> for me, I find it a way to access parts of my sort of mind that, I don't, that aren't surface level. So in the music, I think lots of things that are in my sort of subconscious come out perhaps, or things that I've stored up, emotions or feelings, mm. and then they sort of come out through the music. In a way, so it's a way of communicating things that aren't, accessible readily and that's it sounds really potential but that's how I feel about it. It is, I think and it's just weird, like you just write songs and then all of a sudden you go, oh, another miserable one or another and it, it, it just you learn we learn very quickly well I guess not very quickly over the course of a few years that that is everyone can write a certain type of music and everyone can write songs and and everyone's got a natural thing that they do and we realised what ours was and then we decided once we became aware of it, we decided then to embrace it and to try and get better at doing it, I think. And that was a good moment, because that's the moment you become calm and you go, I can't be like this person, I can't be like this person, I can't ever try and be like this, so this is who we are and that's what it's going to be like. Well, Adam, you mentioned uh, tapping into thoughts or ideas you, in your, maybe your subconscious or something you store away. Um, is it correct for me to assume that it then works in a almost therapeutic sense? A hundred percent. Yeah. Music is like, that's why we're pretty happy now because we exercise those sort of demons or when we write songs. And, I, and for most of the sort of last decade, except the last few years, our lives were pretty miserable at times and you know difficult and there was a lot of hardship. And I really feel that some of those things just stay with you and come out in in, uh, in your music, especially on this album, I feel like some of that's come out, and, if, and it feels great. Yeah, we often get asked, but when this album came out, a few people had said, I said, oh, what do you think? And they said, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm fine, honestly. Uh, but it is, it is like that, I think, for us. And it, yeah, it just, it's weird, isn't it? It's just, they just come out in a madness, I think, songs. And then you, you spend the years afterwards working out what they're about, or what they mean, or what they, tell you about yourself or tell other people about yourself because when you're doing them I, I find it like I don't know what's going on a lot of the time and then you come out the end and then you've got these songs and you go ah okay 